I'm Ben Whitaker. I have an appointment with Miss Austin. I thought she was meeting with her new intern. That's me. How old are you? 70. You? I'm 24. I know I look older. It's the job. It ages you, which won't be great in your case. <laughs> Sorry. The intern sees Robert De Niro as a retired widower, applying for a job at the online clothing business of a successful career woman, played by Anne Hathaway. It's a story that could have been seen as a father-daughter relationship. Instead, it's about a, a wonderful friendship. Yeah. Is that kind of what attracted you to this? Oh, a lot of things mm -hmm. attracted me to this story. The buddy, kind of like the, the buddy comedy aspect of it, definitely. But I just thought his heart was in the right place. And I, this is sound weird, but I have a really great relationship with my in-laws. And my father-in-law worked in fashion for many, many years and is now retired, but is consulting. So I just saw so much of him in the movie. And I don't know, I just got really excited about going to the movies and seeing it with them. You got to learn a lot about technology and the fashion world. <laughs> yeah, no, no, and, and yeah, exactly, technology, yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> and how to get on Facebook. <laughs> Have you become a little more comfortable with it uh, now since doing the film or not really? No, I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but technology itself, using social media or, you know, how yeah, and I, you I, it Social now? media, I, I, computer, iPhone, all that, all great stuff. It's really amazing uh, when you think you, about it. You know. Do you want to take over my Instagram for a day? You don't have to say no, yes right no. now, but I think that would be you do idea. have to say yes later. Uh, <laughs> you don't know. But, but how do you how do you, do you answer? If you get 500,000 queries, or quite, well, how do you deal with that? Well, how does that work? Okay, you, you decide if you're if you're going to respond or not. Yeah. You don't have to respond yeah. to, to everyone. They can't personally contact you. It kind of opens up in a message board. Yeah. It's a lot to deal with. <laughs> but it's a, it's it's out of, what, what do you choose them randomly of say 500 or half a million um I can show you. I don't want to hit a ball over time. I'll show you in between. The disconnects and assumptions made about each other's generations are a rich area for the kind of comedy writer-director Nancy Myers has been so good at in films like What Women Want. You've been a consistent voice in Hollywood as a woman who's written and directed films like you did with this one. Way before we had Amy Poehler and Tina Fey and all of these wonderful women now, are you able to see that? Are you able to see the path that you helped forge? Well, that's very nice of you. Um, I have been making movies centered on women, very strong women characters for a long time, and I think some of those girls probably grew up on some of my movies, so that makes me happy. And I do think there's a crop of young comedians who are brilliant. Amy, Tina, Mindy Kaling, Amy Schumer, Lena Dunham. These are very smart, very funny women, all creating parts for themselves, you know? Do you think there's a lot of men sitting around writing movies for these women and TV shows? No, they're out there doing it themselves. I love them for it. I absolutely love them for it. Your character, she's made so many strides as a working mother, but there are also some strides that haven't been made, and it's how important it is to have men stick up and fight the fight as well. Oh, yeah. Do you feel that, that it's happening enough in Hollywood? Enough? No, but really promising moves? Absolutely. Just this idea that to refocus to get everybody to agree feminism is about equality and that the way to get there and that we should, this is something that benefits all of us is that we need women supporting women, but we also need men supporting women. Her character is trying to be the perfect wife, mother and businesswoman. And in De Niro, she finds a sympathetic friend who listens but doesn't judge. I read that this film, the idea for it came to you while you were making another film. One day driving to work, yes, and it's complicated, the idea of an intern, a senior age intern came to me, but then it took me six months to think about it again. It was I was shooting a movie, so I didn't really think about it too much, but it, the idea popped into my head, which is unusual for me, because usually when I'm making a movie, it's all I ever think about. So I stored it back there, and then it took six months or so for me to start really figuring it out. Your other films have brought uh, actors of the same sort of generation together. This one we see the age gap. Yes. Um, what was it like watching Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway work together? You know, it seemed extremely natural and easygoing. And I think the fact that he wasn't playing her father, you know, made it different and special because the, you didn't have to rely on those kind of traditional ways of relating. Like if she were his daughter, there'd be a certain built-in way of communicating. But these were two equals meeting and each had needs that the other was helping them with. So I loved watching them navigate becoming friends. You know, they're very skilled, very talented, and um, I think they did just such a great job. 
Ben's friendship proves invaluable to Jules in many ways. And it's a poignant, very funny play on what defines a man in 2015. How in one generation have men gone from guys like Jack Nicholson and Harrison Ford to... Oh boy. Your character doesn't go easily into retirement. Uh, for you, you're juggling so many different balls in the air still now with your work and uh, your ventures. Is retirement ever going to be on the cards anytime it's soon? No, I mean, I don't see it there. Uh, I, I don't know what else I would do. And someone else who'd retired quite late in his life is, is Nelson Mandela. The film speaks yeah, about exactly. the impact a person can have on another person. Yeah, and that idea that we're not really a burden to each other. You know, and that's certainly not because of age, certainly not because of gender. And the, the further we can get away from that idea that, you know, other people are burdensome to us, uh, the better off we'll be. It's moments like this when you need someone you know you can count on. Because you're my... Intern. Well, I was gonna say intern slash best friend. With two outstanding leads and great and very real subject matter for laughs, The Intern has just opened at cinemas nationwide.